Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Today, a whole ton of He-Man content has made its way to the game with the power of the Bean Skull. Three different bundles and a brand new event are going on right now. We're gonna be taking a look at one of the bundles and of course participating in the event. So the first one we have is the Masters of the Blunder Dome, starting with He-Man and Tila here. It also gives us two name plates and I think a name, or two, yeah, two name tags as well. So very cool stuff. This will be 1,200 show bucks. I have the power. By the power of Grayskull, He-Man and Tila have arrived to defeat the forces of Skeletor. So we're gonna buy this one and showcase these costumes in this event. Okay, so we have He-Man equipped right over here. Very cool looking costume. Obviously it looks just like it does from the cartoon, even has the uh, sword in the back there. Very cool. I love the, the, the very beefy muscles, of course, they have. Just that combined with the Fall Guys sort of proportions, it's very cute. So, the power of Bean Skull. Eternian magic is leaking into the Blunder Zone. Collect the Eternian artifacts to win fantastic rewards. So, I think as we're running around different shows, there might be different things going on. Yeah, I guess we can just find artifacts in the power of Bean Skull. So, we'll be doing that in today's episode. And as you can see, we can do things like collect Sword of Power, Havoc Staffs things like that. So we'll be looking around as we're playing. Hopefully it goes well. It seems so far like it's gonna be pretty similar to the Hatsune Miku event. So our first round, I can already see some of the weapons down there. We need to run into items to collect them here on Dizzy Heights. Hopefully that goes well. And I'm pretty sure if this is anything like the Hatsune one, as we have our squad here too, ooh, okay. Um, it doesn't matter if other people run through them, as long as we get them as well. So we'll just do our best throughout the next couple of episodes to collect all this different gear. Should be pretty cool. Got ourselves a staff right there. Another sword waiting for me. And we're not too far behind the competition either. So taking this sort of different route might work out for us. I think I'll just keep running like this. I do see that sword up ahead. But I'm going to have to dodge over like that. Yeah, I think they might be peering for different people in different places because it doesn't look like they're really going for them at all. So, interesting so far. Yet beyond that, we'll just be trying to win with He-Man here in the squad show. Participate with our team a little bit, but I don't see too many other people around at the moment that are on our squad. Okay, this, they're all behind me, but not too far behind. Okay, this is where things get a little interesting. We need to jump and dive. Oh, I made it, I made it, sort of. Ah, okay, ready? This one is going fast, but somehow I made it over. Maybe not a first place finish here, but it should be a decent one, right? If I just go like this, go, 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 and make it. Sixth place for now, but where are the rest of the, our team? Will they be able to help us get a top 10 finish right there? And we have these two. So right now we're in third place, it's not too bad, but they have a long way to go. Come on guys, I believe in you. Hopefully they can do it, but yeah, we'll definitely just be trying to collect as many things as we can as we're running from each mini game. Hopefully, it, you know, that turns out as well as possible. It did take us a while for the Hatsune one. Wow, they went right under that. That was close. It looks like they're gonna make it. I don't know about the other one. They're pretty far behind, but all we really need is you to get through. So don't give up. You got this. Come on, just keep going. Yeah, just go straight, go straight. You got it, you got it. There it is. So we're gonna keep that eighth place finish with that. That's pretty good. So, oh no, maybe not. We're, we're, we're down to ninth. Will we fall to 11th? As long as we just don't do that, we're okay. Couple of seconds remaining. I think we're in the clear. Of course, I'm gonna keep cheering for you. Will you make it? I don't think so. All right then. So, on to round two though. We got top 20%. <laughs> Okay, next up is DoorDash. I'm spotting a couple more weapons, a lot more towards the end too. So as it gets sort of closer and closer, we'll just have to maneuver as well as we can. But for right now, it's all about just finding the right doors because if we don't you know, surpass this one, it won't turn out so well for us. What do we need to do as a squad though? Top seven. Okay. I will do what I can. Grab this sword right here. And that's not it, that's not it. This one is. Oh, I missed one sword right there, but not too much I could do about that. Oh, come on, out of the way, out of the way. What's the next door? This one, there we go, not too bad. We're sort of close to the front. Ah, not that one. It will be that one though, I'm getting knocked over a little bit. Couple weapons waiting for us for this one. Got it, ah, but <laughs> is it worth the risk of getting knocked over, I don't know. Okay, well it's definitely this one. I don't know if it's worth risking going through the other doors, but. Yeah, one through the center here, so sword. Ah, oh, I had to jump for that one. Whoops, that's okay. Oh, two of our squad mates left. Okay, well our chances of qualifying this one are now super duper low. Even if I get through this, it's just, we don't have enough teammates to actually make that work. I wonder why they bailed. 
That's unfortunate. So no win this time, but at least, can I leave the show now with this? I, I guess I'll still probably get lose points. It's all right, we get eliminated, that's to be expected. We are go going to back out on see what rewards I get. You know, it's our first round in a couple of days, so hopefully we get some battle pass points as well, but see our show summary. We're getting there with some things. We definitely need to make some more progress, but we get a silver medal there. I wanna check in on the event just to see what we could have maybe jumped forward with. So right over this way, we have the Eye of the Power. We're almost there. We need to collect 50 Swords of Power and 50 of the staff. So it's just gonna take a lot of playing to get that, but that's what we're here to do. Let's keep at it. We're back at it again, this time actually starting with DoorDash, so. Guess we'll have to see how this one turns out, but so far I think we're fine with just running forward, pushing some people out of the way, collecting some swords and staffs. But it, I wonder if this is gonna have the same issues that the uh, Hatsune Miku one did, which was mostly that there was a lot of the same mini games and people got bored of it really quickly. I think that one way they're trying to remedy that is by making it its own game mode, instead of it being a thing that takes over each of the modes for the entire duration but that won't really make up for the fact that if there just isn't enough mini games, it just won't be super interesting to endure the whole event. So let's hope that there are a lot of varietous mini games in this one. Okay, gonna grab that, keep it moving. I'll get this sword. And I guess we're going this way. So far I'm just following this person's lead because they're getting very lucky with a lot of it. Ah, oh, not this one. Darn, it was the one on the left. Then I will. Definitely go for that, grab this thing. And it looks like our teammate might have gotten first place there. That's fantastic. We're at third right now, and more of our teammates are making their way through. This is the last one. So right now we're in fourth place. Might jump up another placement. Have to wait and see. Ooh, first. Okay, that's really good. So right now we're first as a team. There's no way we're jumping all the way back to 11th, so we're good to move to the next round for sure. Okay, so we got the Whirly Gig this time. See a lot of possibilities here for grabbing some new gear. We still have all four of our teammates too, so that's a much better sign than last time. So as we're rushing through this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the He-Man costume, the bundle, this whole new set of uh, event things we got going on here. Seems like they're going all out for this one, which is so cool. Like I said, there's three different bundles instead of it usually just being two or even just one for certain things. This one gets three bundles. We'll be showcasing all three of them, or at least I'll try my best to get to all of them. And I haven't been doing the best of jobs of actually getting to the end of the events recently. I've just been so busy, it's hard to, sometimes it's require a lot of grinding and it's just hard to find that time. But as per usual, I will definitely try my best to get to the end of this one. Okay, grabbing that and then we're going back over here. And I'm just going to see if I can't get lucky. Not quite, I get launched all the way over. So I think we'll just go this way instead. Played a bit safe. Got it. Okay. One more time, I'm gonna jump over this and then dive. So far, not too bad. I'll grab that sword and we're just running over with our team. Got it, so we're in first place for now. I guess we're the first two team to get two players through the finish line. So we're at 68 points already. Somebody, you are getting launched so high up. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Ah, oh, a little unfortunate there, but a third teammate got through. We're still first place in points. Really good to see. It definitely feels like the variations here on the He-Man event are a lot more difficult. The spinning things spin a lot faster. There's just more of them around, it seems, in some spots, but so far, so good. We're still in first place. I don't know if they'll end up beating us for this one, so that's a really good turnout for this run. Okay, next up is Pipe Dream. Oh, man. Seeing some interesting variant spots for that one, but a lot of weapons to grab, so I will definitely try for that. Uh, Where are we starting? Right over here, so this isn't too bad. Okay, let's go for it. I think this show is definitely going to help. Oh, I got past one of them without getting punched up. That doesn't happen to me too often. Uh, not quite gonna happen for that one, but it's okay. Grab that sword and keep it going. But yeah, so far I think we're gonna be getting a lot of progress in our event with this one. Come on, don't get hit by that, no! Oh, that wasn't good. Fans really did a number on me that time. It's okay, it's okay, we just run through like that. I might grab this real quick. So we need to be top six to qualify. So hopefully my teammates are keeping up. I do see someone pretty far out ahead. That's, you know, we're leaving. Oh boy, go, go, go. I guess I'll go this way. It knocked me over to this one. Might as well make the most of it. Get launched way up here and dive onto the platform. 
grab that and keep it going. Can I get up here before turns? I can. Doing pretty good so far, I think. To at least catch up a little bit. Oh no, it's gonna switch. I think I can get to this one before it switches again. Oh, it was a close one. Then we dive to this. Ready, got it. Just gonna grab what I can, but maybe not worth turning around for if we do have to get top six. That's quite the demand. So I think, oh, let's not bump into our own teammate. I missed that one because I was too hesitant. I really didn't want to bump into them. I know you're gonna try to grab me. Okay, they missed it. Boom, we're in fourth place still. So two of our teammates through, the other two are still working on it, but they're getting close. Yep, they're both getting pretty close. So hopefully this next time it swings around. You got it, you got it. Ah, oh, jump in a little too soon. You really don't need the back up to get like extra momentum there. You can just jump from the edge and it's usually good enough. So let's see if they get it. Ooh, that was good. Usually getting it from behind like that's not easy. So three in there already. We're in second place. So the chances of us falling to six really low at this point. And if you're really struggling with it, you can always just try to dive into the pipes because it's better than nothing. Um, let's see if they do that or will they get it almost. Good try though. Uh, I think they probably have time for one more attempt. So now we're back and forth. All right, ready? Oh, I think that really what they're struggling with is that they're backing up and then running into it. I mean, you don't really need to do that too much. Okay, 15 seconds remaining. Will they try the pipe? Oh, not quite. I think we're good though. I think we can survive this. All right, well, they put their best effort into it. It takes some time to figure out for sure. So we're just gonna keep moving and I think, yeah, no way they're catching up in points, luckily, so we're able to move to round four. Oh no, we gotta survive the rhinos, but this does give us a chance to get a ton, a ton of weapons. If I don't get knocked off right away, that is. So we'll have to just try to survive, but we've already lost a teammate, unfortunately. I'm not so happy about that. That seems to just happen every squad's game. But somehow, some way, oh no, whoa, I got bumped a couple of times. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Ah, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, let's focus on surviving, because we're gonna have to make sure I'm the only one left. I don't know how that happened so soon. Oh my goodness, so yeah, it's all up to me if we actually make it past this one, but the chances are low. So of course, the more teammates you have, the, the more points you garner. Okay, ooh. But either way, it's still a nice one to play just for all the weapons we end up getting. Definitely appreciative of that. Okay. We're in fifth place for right now, but we could. If I could hold on and somebody else gets knocked off, maybe we could catch up in points. It's hard to say for now. Uh, oh, just trying to dodge what I can. I don't think there's any weapons left. I've grabbed them all, but it's it's not enough. I need more points and I just can't get them. Not without them getting knocked off. It's just not gonna work out. So I tried, I, I made my way to the end, but Better luck next round. But I think that's where we'll switch over to a different costume, but I definitely wanna see what rewards we might have gotten just from getting through that. So as you can see, we get 3,700 battle pass points. That's amazing. And we get even more there too. So we're at level 55, we get the epic saucer shenanigans celebration. Let's equip that one then. I'm always down for a new celebration. Um, like a, a moat, whatever you'd call them. But either way, that was pretty fun with He-Man. Now we're gonna equip the second costume in this bundle, which should be Tila. So here is the Tila costume, just as detailed as the He-Man one. Looks really cool. I like the golden shine on all the golden parts of the clothing. And the tiara looks nice too. So overall, very cool costume. I think we're good just to hop back in. But as you can see, we've made some decent progress. We need 10 more Havoc Staffs and uh, 13, no, no, 23 more uh, Swords of Power. So we're slowly getting there, but those other things we can do, like collect artifacts and race rounds, which we've been doing, and survival rounds, and just in general collecting artifacts. But beyond that, all the things on the right are doubled versions of the left ones, just more. So hopefully we can get some of these soon. We're definitely chipping away at all of them at once though, which is pretty nice. So let's get back to it. Okay, so we're back to DoorDash. Definitely can grab a couple of gear here. But will we be able to stay ahead of the competition, work with our squad, get to the final round? I sure hope so. Let's see what we can get to first. For right now, I need to get ahead of the competition. So maybe not after too many weapons for the time being. Okay, this one. And I think, oh yeah, this one, okay. Not gonna worry about the weapons if they're that far off though. Okay, this one, nope. Please let it be this one. Nope, okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're gonna be so much far behind. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is not good. 
but there is just this one I can get through. And it's just any of these last two. So if we can avoid some traffic by going through this way, that's great. I'll grab just one weapon is a big difference maker. You wouldn't think so, but every single one counts. So yeah, I'll grab a couple of these as we're making our way over because we need to be top 10. So let's grab some points with our team. We're at 10th place right now. 9th, 10th, 8th, 9th, we're all over the place. But that's all of our teammates through. So hopefully we can just hold steady here. Oh no. Come on, come on. We did it. Okay, we're in ninth place. We got through. We're on to the next one. Okay, Dizzy Heights I'm a little bit more confident in. Just with DoorDash, it, it definitely can feel like luck of the draw. But with this, I know that we can at least get ourselves to get in a good position. These chances are pretty high. Let's see though. Can we keep up with all these people? So far, not too bad. We'll gotta jump over that. That was a nice jump, jumping over the corner of it a little bit. I think I wanna stick to this side, grab a weapon while I'm at it, and then I will just dive over like this. I think that was a better idea, but oh, that one didn't go so well. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I grab one more staff. There's a sword waiting for us. Got it. Okay, keeping up a little bit better. Grabbing this sword. And you know what? That was a bad idea. <laughs> I thought that maybe, hey, you know, this might be a good time to get launched. Maybe not. If I timed it better, it would have been, but I couldn't. So somebody already qualifies. I press jump, I thought, but I guess not. Now I'm feeling pressure to get hit by the hammer. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Jump over that one one more time. Grab a few weapons on the way up maybe, or one. That's that's okay, ouch. Ooh, getting knocked around all over the place. Come on, come on. We need more points here. We're at sixth place right now. We can only be up the top seven. So where the rest of our teammates? Keep moving, friend. You can do it, I believe in you. Don't give up. We're depending on you. We need only a couple more points. We're four points behind. Oh no, keep at it. This is our last chance. Oh no, oh no. They're struggling. Oh uh, no, that's not looking so good. We're one placement behind. We just need one of these two to get through. I just don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh, that was their chance. Come on, eight seconds remaining. Oh, the other one's coming in too. Come on, hold on tight. Ah, I don't think they're gonna make it in time. Darn, so we're disqualified from this one. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. We'll try one more time here with Tila. Hopefully this one will go a bit better, but that was definitely not a good beginning for this costume. Either way, our show summary gets us a couple more bits of progress. We need to reach round two two more times to get 4,000 battle pass points. We'll get there eventually. So we're back at DoorDash again. I really hope we can get to the last round this attempt. I'm gonna give it my all, but you know, obviously with it being squads, that does change things up a lot. It feels a little weird that the event is squads only. It just doesn't feel like it has to be. I feel like it would've been fine if it was also solo. Because sometimes squads can just make it a little more challenging, a little more complicated, because there's always that chance, even if your squad is doing amazingly well, that somebody just disconnects or multiplayer, multi, multiple players do. You know, you just, you never actually have that security. But when you're, you know, solo, you can at least just go as far as you can manage. But usually it'd be nice to at least have the option. I mean, right now, not gonna complain too much because, you know, we have a player out here on our squad who's in first at the moment. I'm trying to keep close behind them. So that, okay, maybe not too close behind them. I need to go different ways than they're going so that they make a mistake, we can sort of, oh gosh, uh, catch up in other ways. But, a lot of our players are moving here generally well, so I think we'll be able to get only top eight this time. Oh, wow, okay. That gets us a third, we're in second. So it's not too bad by the end of it, but geez, only top eight for DoorDash is pretty close cutting it, but we all got through, we're in third place. I think we're good for round two. This one I am feeling pretty good about as long as no one disconnects. Okay, so Pipe Dream is up next. Our squad is all still here. That's nice. Oh, I got past that one again. That's actually becoming more common for me, which I appreciate. Oh, and we're out here pretty far. Come on, come on, come on. All right, I'm gonna dive right about there. And hope I don't get knocked over too much. If I miss a sword or two, not the end of the world. I'm losing battery power though. 
Uh, the bug in my controller between rounds, but for now. I'm still falling over as I'm jumping. Got it? And we're through the pipe. Actually, things are going pretty well here. I, this could be, oh wow, I've not seen this path too much here. Oh no, please don't push me off. Uh, ooh, that is really tricky. I think I'm in first. Okay, that's pretty crazy. I might have to yeah, wait for this to switch over. Ooh, can I make it in time? I can. I think I'm just going to fully focus. Oh wait, grab it, I got on. Okay, that was close. We'll have to see what ends up happening here, if I'll make it or not. Just gonna grab it and then go for it. I got it, I got the first place. That's amazing, where's my camera going? I don't know, but that will really help with setting our team sort of forward, you know? So hopefully we can keep that up as the rest of our teammates are coming in here. Two of them waiting for the pole. Somebody opts for the pipe. I don't blame you. It can be hard to reach that pole. Uh, but another person makes it through, keeping us in first place in general right now. So that's great. Are they gonna go for it? They're gonna go for the pipe. For that, you need to jump off, I think. Can't just dive towards it. It is a struggle though, I, I, I know. Now we're in second place. The second place is still great. Okay, yeah, they're opting to go through the, on top of the pipe and said, oh, they got it. Great work. So yeah, you jump through and we're back in first. What an amazing team. We're making this work really well. So hopefully, you know, obviously we're not gonna lose five placements here. Yeah, hopefully this just continues out. So that the next couple of rounds can maybe get us to the final, you know? As long as nothing super bad happens, I think we'll be in a good spot for that. Okay, we're back to stomping ground. And we have all of our teammates, so the chances here are much higher. As long as we can survive, earn up those points so we can get top four. But you know, before those rhinos get released, let's just try to uh, grab some rewards. This is definitely where we need to try to grab every single one of them. I mean, it's naturally going to be, oh, pretty difficult. Just because you can't look at all of them at once. You know, there's just too many rhinos. At least when they start splitting up a bit more. So listening out for their charges can be useful, but you don't always know exactly where they're charging. You could end up moving into the path of it, you know? Right now we're at fifth place because I am the only team member left. Why does this happen so much? Oh boy, so at this point, I'm only two point, okay, we're in fourth place. So as long as I can hold on now, I think we'll be all right. Oh boy, oh boy. No, 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 wait, come on, there's too many of them. All right, our squad is still technically in it. We could still qualify from here, because there's only three people. I think we still technically make it. I don't know, we'll have to wait up the 10 seconds and see, does that count as a disqualification? We well, earned up enough points, fair is fair, right? Um, I wish I could have gotten a couple more of the weapons, but I got most of them. Uh, Round over. We count, it counts, yeah, we survived, awesome. Okay, fruit shoot, this is where I'm really hoping my teammates can maybe <laughs> help me out a little bit, you know? I was able to help with the, the rhinos, hopefully they can help with the uh, the fruit shoot. Because I am not good at this one. They are starting a little bit out ahead, but only two squads can make their way through on this one, so we're really gonna have to try it. I think I will, I will try this, it doesn't really, the fruit in the way isn't really helping me. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Let's just try to get through whatever way we can then. Right now, I think staying to the side, behind these angled platforms, typically is what I do, but sometimes that just doesn't matter. Like that watermelon just barely clipped me. So I'm trying to respond wherever I can. It looks like one of our teammates, oh, they were out in front and then that mango took him down. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. Grab some swords. Some of them are actually getting a bit distracted from that, so that's great. That gives us a chance to get even more points. We're in first place right now, and all four of our teammates have gotten through. That is amazing. So even if they do catch up a little bit here, yeah, though we're tied for first with the other team. I don't think we're gonna fall to third. But I guess we'll see in a moment. This person's pretty close to ending it. And that, yeah, that still doesn't quite get them to where they would need to be. I wonder if it's possible to get a three-way tie for first here. I guess it's technically feasible. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Uh, right now they're, okay, yeah, not gonna do too much. Awesome, so we got top 20% finish and a first place for a squad. Oh, so we're on the final round of roll off. This is where it might just be, you know, everybody just trying their best to survive. But I will definitely try to grab a couple of these. So far it is really quite similar to the Hatsune Miku event then, even finishing with roll off. We will just, oh gosh, grab what we can as we're trying to survive this 
Very scary final event. But I would ho have to hope that this gets me a couple of the quests done. I, I really think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, not gonna be able to get that one. It's okay. One of our teammates, unfortunately, already out for the count. Gonna grab these two, then we're gonna focus on the mission. All right, ready? Got it. Got it. <laughs> Getting quite a few of them here, so that's good. Looking good. Back over here. I don't want to risk, you know, losing because of these, but it is just good to grab what I can where I can. I think I've gotten every single one of them. Look at us. Two of our teammates have now been knocked off, but those are the only two teammates that have been eliminated from the event. I did win this the last time we played it solo, and that was the first time I've ever won it. This is scary. Oh, hold on, hold on. Somebody fell from that. Yikes. Okay, so let's just keep at it. Oh, somebody else just fell right through. But luckily, now that I've gotten all the collectibles, it's just not anything to stress about much, which is good. Yeah, if we could knock them out. Ooh, good idea, if we knock them out. I know this is really awful to do, but it's part about being a squad, right? We kinda sort of two versus one here. Come on, come on. Because if we do, that's a guaranteed win for a squad. Oh, now it's just me, up to me and them. So now this is where things get scary. They might've taken that personally. Uh, okay, okay, just gotta keep it going. They jumped that, interesting. Would not have reset at this point. Okay, switching over. Switching over again. It's all up to me, I'm trying my best, guys. Oh no, oh no, oh no, whoa. Did I win? How did I win that? I, I do, that was weird. It did not look like they had fallen, but they did. Okay, look at us, we get to see our new emote victory thing. Very cool. Oh, see you guys. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, well, that was so cool. I'm glad we got a win in today's episode for our squad. We all worked super hard on that one, so it's definitely a shared one. We have, I have the power, click the, the Swords of Power 50 times, and a bunch of other stuff too. Over 15,000 Battle Pass points is crazy with three gold medals. We're actually gonna jump it up to 16,616. Wow, um, we get 100 show bucks for that level, and then for level 57, we get ourselves the Chrome Strike Blasters costume piece. And almost level 58, we'll be getting a new skin. But that's not all, we got a couple of crowns here. Over four of them, actually, so that's pretty good. Will that get us to a new level? We gotta be closing in on a new one soon. Oh, uh -huh, not too much. We have nine more crowns we need to get for the next level. But some crazy progress here for sure. What a way to end it. As you can see, we get the I Have the Power um, nickname. So I'll get that. And some extra kudos to grab too. See, we got four missions done there. I didn't even notice. Yeah, we have I Have the Power, Let Me Be a God, Possess All or Nothing in Our Final Battle. So for the last one, Collect Artifacts and Race Rounds, we just gonna do that eight more times. And then we're done half of the event missions already. The rest of them are all the same, just doing that, but more. And we're already well on the way to completing those ones too. So some fantastic progress in today's episode as we checked out the first He-Man bundle, the Masters of the Blunder Dome. There are two, two more left to go. We have Skeletor's Sash with Skeletor and I have the Power special um, victory dance and Skeletor's Cackle. And then of course, the Magic Molars bundle with Orko and Battle Cat. So really looking forward to all that. It's gonna be great, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.